Greetings, friends and enemies, and welcome back to Art by Flan. Uh, today is a very special video. Um, it is my third year in a row doing a special video for Asexuality Awareness Week. Um, I am asexual myself, and I always love bringing um, more awareness, obviously, to the sexuality, what it means, and all sorts of things like that. Um, this year, the piece is relatively simple. Um, I'm not going to be talking much about it at all. It's just... Um, a girl holding a piece of cake because a, a joke in the asexual community is that cake is better than sex for us and just has a really cool shirt that says nah. <laughs> but the bulk of this video will be me answering some questions. So I fielded some questions from um, various social medias of mine and I got uh, quite a few back. So I figured um, I would read those out and respond to them and let's get started. So the first question I got was, what does asexuality actually mean? Serious question, like, is it just sexual relations you're not interested in, or does it also include romantic relations? So the first thing to understand is that um, there are multiple kinds of attraction. That's the base that you have to understand and kind of accept. It can be sexual attraction, romantic, platonic, aesthetic, all sorts of different ways that you are attracted to another person. It's not always just a sexual attraction. Um, and for this video, we're going to focus on two of them, and that is sexual and romantic. And contrary to popular belief, these two types are not mutually inclusive. Um, you can have sex without love, and you can have love without sex. Um, so what does asexuality actually mean? Well, to put it simply, asexuals don't experience sexual attraction. So they could want to be romantic with somebody, but not have sex with them. Uh, for example, uh, heterosexuals are attracted to people of a different gender, homosexuals are attracted to people of the same gender, and asexuals are attracted to no genders in a sexual manner. Uh, being attracted to someone for us doesn't include the urge to have sex with them, and a lack of romantic attraction would be aromantic, but I'm not aromantic, so I can't really speak on the details of that. Um, the question is, do you hate sex and never want to have it? Um, this actually varies from asexual to asexual. Um, some aces hate sex and never want to have it, and they're usually referred to as sex repulsed. Um, this could be a, for a variety of reasons. It's, again, each individual person has their own thoughts and feelings about it. Um, some aces have no real feelings on it. Um, they're usually just referred to as sex neutral. And some aces have no problems with sex, and they're usually called sex positive. Um, the important thing to remember is that people who identify as asexuals still have functioning bodies. Um, they can still experience arousal, and yes, they can still orgasm. Contrary to some weird theory that uh, asexuals have something physically wrong with them, that's not at all. Trust me, I've been to a doctor and I'm A+, plus, okay, everything's working. <laughs> Of course, asexuality is a spectrum, so there are different levels and exceptions for every person. So if you are interested in um, an asexual person and you don't know their feelings on it and you're not asexual, talk to them because they may be willing to. But you don't you don't know. It, it varies from person to person. Um, do you ever feel like people don't compliment you because you're ace? I've been feeling like because I'm ace, people don't tell me that they find me attractive at all. And I don't necessarily mean in a dating way. Sometimes it's a dating way, yeah, but I feel like I'm being left out of the circle of being told I'm wanted and desired and attractive that allosexual people thrive in. It feels like not being invited to a party because people assume I don't want to go. It's just nice to feel included. Is that a relatable ace feeling or is that just me? Well, it's not something I've personally experienced. I can totally understand where you're coming from. I think it all stems from this idea that all attraction is sexual and that compliments equal attraction in that sense. And maybe they don't want to make you feel kind of uncomfortable, um, but you're absolutely right. Uh, everyone wants to be desired from time to time and maybe you could let them know that compliments are okay. Um, you're not a robot, you still have feelings, and it's nice to be complimented. So saying somebody looks nice doesn't actually mean you look nice, I want to have sex with you. You know what I mean? It could be you look nice today, and that's all it could mean. And so I, I understand where you're coming from. Like I said, not experienced it personally, but I could see how that would leave you feeling very um, excluded from everything. Um, another question is, do you find it hard explaining it to people? I try to explain it to people, it being asexuality, but people take it as me being abstinent, considering their Christian past, or that something's wrong with my level of hormones and I should get tested. Um, again, depends on the person. If someone is really open and receptive to the idea 
of asexuality and you know different levels of attraction and all of that that i have no problems explaining it to them they're like oh okay i understand but if someone is less open to the idea and it's not so easy and in the end i honestly just let them think what they want because it's i'm not here to um to explain to you these things okay it's not my responsibility as an individual person to make someone who doesn't want to accept that there are more than two sexualities that it's a spectrum that asexuality is a thing that aromanticism is a thing if they're not willing to accept that you know themselves then there's no reason trying to explain it to them because they're not going to listen um it's it's just how it has to be and lots of asexuals are presented with these ideas of hormones and abstinence because asexuality isn't really well known which is why asexual awareness week is important uh but like i said um myself and many others have have been tested and our hormones are fine we're perfectly healthy asexuality is just who we are it's not um something that we can just change with a, a medication you know what i mean um, and somebody else asked, can we cover ace dating in this? Because I'll admit, I do like sex, but my boyfriend is ace, which is cool with me. And we do other stuff like hobbies, such as D&D or Magic the Gathering. And people always make such a big deal out of it when I have to explain that we don't do that stuff. And I'm perfectly fine with it. That stuff being meaning sex. Um, the first thing and the most important thing is that your sex life is nobody else's business but yours and your partner's. If you're both happy with where you are and how your relationship is going, no one else gets to have a say. Um, just make sure communication is always open and both of your needs are always being met and that th and they're comfortable for both of you. Um, your bedroom, your business. And if all else fails, use my favorite line. Great advice. I'll make sure to forget it immediately. Because... <laughs> I don't, there, there's a, such a stigma on sex in general, and it's if you're having too much of it or not enough of it, something is wrong. Um, if you're having too many partners, that's bad. If you only had one partner, that's bad. It's a ridiculous mess, specifically in the United States. Um, but again, it all comes back to that's your business. If they can't accept how your relationship functions and functions well, that's on them, honey, not you. <laughs> and on that sort of line, does being ace make dating harder? Um, I'm probably not the best source on this as I'm not much of a dater, but depending on the person, it can be a challenge. Um, communication is important and if they aren't interested in dating you, if you're not interested in sex, then obviously that relationship just isn't meant to be. If they can't compromise, if you two can't compromise with how you are, it's not going to work out in that sense. That's And that's with anything, um, not just sex, but with anything. Like if, if they, I don't know, play a lot of video games and you don't play a lot of video games and you can't compromise on spending time together um, outside of those things, then it's not going to work. So it's not limited to just sex, but you guys have to make sure you function on the same level or can compromise in order for a relationship to kind of work, you know? Um, and... Following up on that question, also, do people often think it's invalid and that you just haven't, quote, found the right person or something? Uh, yeah, aces face a lot of comments like this. It's usually always everyone's default thing. Well, you just haven't met the right person. Um, which is another reason why Asexual Awareness Week is so important. We're here, we're valid, and the right person will accept us uh, as part of us. As They will love us and our asexuality, not in spite of it. Another question, how do aces feel about children? I know it's ultimately up to the individual, but I'm curious, would an ace want a biological children or to adopt? Like you said, it's really up to the individual. Um, children have less to do with sexuality, uh, in this case, and more with the individual asexual's preferences. I personally have no interest in children, uh, but there are plenty of aces out there who would love to and have no problems having sex to obtain biological children. And some would just rather adopt because adoption is a great and valid choice for having children. Um, somebody else has, you've mentioned asexuality is a spectrum. What are some of the other identities on it? Well, two of the more common identities are demisexual and gray asexual. Uh, demisexuals don't feel sexual attraction until a deep emotional bond is formed. Um, and gray asexuals or gray aces aren't sure where exactly they are on the spectrum, but they know they are on it. So their sexuality is kind of in flux. They know they're asexual, but they're not sure if they're more of a demisexual or a full-blown asexual. So they, they're kind of in a, a gray area, thus the term. Um, again, 
sexuality is a, a personal thing and um, it really just depends on the person. Um, and finally, um, relating back to demisexuals, uh, if demisexuals don't experience attraction until a bond is formed, doesn't that mean they're just normal people? Um, I'm kind of comfortable talking, talking about demisexuality because I thought I identified as that for a long time um, before I came to realize just my general asexuality. But um, this is a common misconception. Nope, they are not just like normal people. Someone not on the asexuality spectrum can experience sexual attraction to just about anyone without a bond. For example, they can see someone they've had never spoken to before and experience a sexual attraction. Uh, societal standards say we shouldn't have sex until a bond is formed. And that's a whole other can of worms there. Uh, not, not experience sexual attraction. Demisexuality is kind of like a switch. No sexual attraction until the bond is formed and then click, there it is. Um, so no, saying, you know, that's, again, society says we should actually have sex until we're in a relationship with someone, but you can experience sexual attraction without that. Uh, normal, normally, demisexuals cannot. Do you get what I mean? <laughs> but those are some, some questions I've gotten about asexuality. If you have any more, don't be afraid to leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them as best as I can. And if you like the art and what you see in that general area, you can subscribe. I post a new art video every week, or at least I try very hard to. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye